Vintage PAF tone and steel chemistry. Is there a connection? Okay, vintage PAF pickup tone and steel chemistry. What could the possible connection be? Well, this was a question that serious pickup makers had about a decade ago as to a possible explanation as to the difference between the tone of a vintage PAF and the reproductions that could be made with the parts of a decade ago. So since this was a interesting sort of conundrum for us, how do we find this out? Uh, we pooled resources by supplying both supplying vintage parts for destructive lab testing, specifically uh, slugs, pole slugs, uh, keeper bar, and pole screws. These are kind of the main ferric components of the magnetic circuit known as a PAF guitar pickup. And being essential parts of the ferric components of that magnetic circuit, it's reasonable to assume that they will have an auditory impact on the tone of the pickup. But in order to know for sure, we needed to know, is there a difference between these 50s era parts and the parts available a decade ago? From those tests, we found out some interesting things. Uh, the slugs were quite consistent in their steel uh, chemistry. The keeper bars were as well, but the pole screws varied widely. Now I'll, I'll break down the uh, test results for these pole screws to the vintage screws just to put it in the uh, kind of technical terms and that is um, steel is designated a, a number to kind of standardize the metal mix of it and the vintage samples ranged from 1006 to 1018 with a variety of grades in between there too with samples I've tested over the year. Now, it kind of in its barest terms, as that number goes up, the carbon content of the steel chemistry goes up. So 1006 has a lower carbon content than 1018. And the interesting part of that is that the vintage samples had lower carbon content and what was widely available a decade ago and still today is 1022 steel which has a relatively higher carbon content compared to 1006, 1008, 1010, 1018 which are some of the vintage varieties of pole screw steel chemistry. So the job is then now what is that difference going to add up to tonally? And the way to find out is to have them made. With that information, I went about finding a screw manufacturer that could make uh, reproduction pole screws of the 50s specification. So I did that 10 years ago and I made them. And since then I've made them in four varieties that cover the ranges of carbon content that I want for the, the PAF reproductions that Throwback makes. So, but from those screws that I had made, it became apparent that the, to me and to others, that the lower carbon content screws change the treble response when compared to a higher carbon content. And Roughly speaking, the lower the carbon content is, the treble response is a little smoother, and as the carbon content goes up, uh, the treble response becomes a little more dominant. And by the time you get into 1022 steel, it's beginning to get harsh, in my opinion. So, but anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, in this guitar, in the pickups, I'm going to switch out the pole screws. It'll be the same pickup, same pickup height, same pole screw height. But I'm hoping, I haven't actually done this test, you know, AB recorded test. But anecdotally, I, I, I'm convinced there's a difference. 
but we'll see again. Can you hear a difference between lower carbon content pole screws and higher carbon content pole screws? We'll find out. I've got about, <laughs> over the years I've ordered well over a hundred thousand screws that would so that I would hope to think that they that those screws were not purchased in vain but I'm quite sure that there's a sound difference I think let's find out so I'm gonna go through play the sort of standard individual notes and stuff that I usually do and I'll I'll a B edit between the two and we'll see what happens <laughs> That is the AB comparison between lower carbon content PAF spec pole screws and higher carbon content PAF pickup pole screws. Both of those were vintage specs, just the opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to carbon content and steel chemistry in a pole screw. I do think there's a difference. It can, the video confirms it for me. I can even hear it in the little iPad speakers that I used when editing this, so, and headphones too. I, I, my impression, let me know what you think, but my impression is that the, the higher car, the carbon content goes, the more direct and sort of in-your-face the treble response is, and maybe a touch more output too, just a touch, and the lower carbon content is a little smoother, more even response with the treble. And they're both great tones. I, I, I like them both. But it is one of those vintage details that is baked into the vintage pickup and that we here at Throwback bake into our repros. I, I'm of the feeling that all of these little differences, when you stack them up, it adds up to a, a quite noticeable tonal difference compared to if you had ignored these details. So I want to pay attention to them, and I'm committed to doing that. And uh, uh, sometimes I feel I should be committed for doing that, but these little details, I think, make a difference. So I'm going to keep doing it. And it's going to be baked into these pickups. And it is, just like the vintage ones. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Click like. Subscribe love that and click the bell you'll get notifications of future videos and once again thanks for letting throwback be part of your search for great guitar tone <laughs>